Here we go. All right, we get ready to start. Uh, we love you. We 
thank you for tuning in to my Herb Mary Baptist Church where Bishop Donald J. Washington is our pastor. If this is your first time, we welcome you. If you're watching for the first time online, we welcome you uh, to our service today. I hope that God will move and bless you in your life in this service today. You can catch us on Facebook Live or on YouTube at Mount Herman Missionary Baptist Church. We thank God today uh, for our bishop. We thank him for our praise team. And right now, we're going to have our deacons come up with a scripture and then our prayer. second at noon my wife and I will be there and these individuals that became so faithful in our ministry on Wednesday noonday Bible study I want to thank you and I invite you be my wife Kim Green my sister Frances Green mother Lydia Short sister Mary Jennings deaconess Brenda Crosby Sister Jeanette Henson, um, also uh, Sister C. C. M. McNickens, Sister Lottie Skipper, Sister Shana Stewart, Sister Gloria Miller, Milner, and Brother Melvin Milner, Sister Sherry Abrams, Kim Hines Shepherd, and she's in Harrison, Ohio. Which I'll go ahead and I'll mail these individuals their card to them and uh, Brother Willie Dancy from out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, Sister Amy Hurrah. Brother Reggie Munkins. Sister Vanessa Gwen White and Mother Gwen. And also we're gonna have uh, Ethel Goldman, Sister Ethel Goldman, and Sister Molly Claxton. I wanna thank each and every one of you because like I said before, when I tell you online, sometimes you've made me a better person in learning the Bible. Because, you know, just like we say in James 1, you know, James 1 verse 5, he will give you that knowledge if you ask for it oh, through yeah. your heart. He will give that to you. Yes, yes. And with that being said, with all minds clear, let's go to the throne of grace. Yes. Father in heaven, Father, we come to you this morning just thanking you, Father. Thanking you for lying down last night. 
thanking you for watching over it as we slept in slumber last night, Father. Yeah. Father, just touch each and every one of the Mount Hermon Missionary Baptist Church family. Yes. If they're in need of anything, Father, Father, fill that void for them, Father. Father, continue to touch our pastor. Continue to hold him up on all leaning arms, Father, that he can continue to lead, teach, lead, and guide us in the direction that we should go. Father, I'm so thankful for him, Father, yes, because he gives me that inspiration to learn. And Father, most of all, touch the ones in the convalescent care and the nursing homes too, Father. Thank you. Touch them in a mighty way, Father, because I know this year has been a tough one and being isolated for so long, it just makes you tired and it is just draining you. I was on the outside and it drained me. But I kept that Bible within my hand and said, thank you, Father. Thank you. Just thank you. Thank you. Peace, prayer. All right, in your son, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Somebody just give God praise right now. A lot of times, he'll get us over the mountain and we'll get about the mountain. Yeah. He'll get us through the valley, but we'll get about the valley. But if you forget about the valley, don't forget the God that was with you in that valley. Yeah. That's what we got to do. We got to remember that God was there and he revealed himself to us in so many ways. And he's all those things at one time. But we thank God for being there for us. I thank you for being there. Uh, oh, yeah. well, thank you for that prayer. Thankful just to be thankful. We ain't asking for nothing, but just to be thankful to God for what He's done, for how He's made ways over and over for our family, for our grandparents, for our grandchildren, for our children, for our mothers, our aunts. And He's still making ways. He's still making ways. It's offering time right now in the house of the Lord. So with your praise, also uh, bring your tithes and your offering. You can do it in two different ways, three different ways today. On Givelify, we have two different options for you. You can go to Mount Hermon Missionary Baptist Church, Columbus, Ohio, uh, 2283 Sunbury Road, 43219 is the area code. That's on Givelify, the Mount Hermon Missionary Baptist Church. Also, if you want to give by the 1930 Project, type in Givelify the 1930 Campaign. Uh, we will have a special video presentation at the conclusion of this service to show you a little bit about what's going on in 1930 and just the building and, and all the progress that's been made in here. It's looking amazing. We can't wait for you all to uh, join us in that building. But right now, go ahead, we'll wait on you. Uh, go to give a bye to Mount Hermon Missionary Baptist Church, 2283 Sunbury Road. Also, go to the 1930 campaign. Uh, thank you all. Dean Green wanted me to remind you, if you were not on that list, don't show up to MCL. No free meal. You will not get it.
also in me and my father's house and name mansion. And if it were not so, I would have told you. We like those euphoric words on scripture. And uh, we told him, he said, if I go, I'll come again and receive unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. 
But we also come down to verse 14. It says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Right. We like that. It's, right. it's very scintillating and effervescent. It's kind of euphoric. Mm -hmm. We love those. You know, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So it sounds great. We love quoting that to those words. We like quoting, you know, that I know you say in many instances, I know the Lord will make a way somehow. We like saying that. But we always, when we get to that last verse in chapter, in the 23rd number of Psalm, that last verse, surely, we go in, surely, surely. <laughs> Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And people just start quick. Oh. <laughs> what? What do we have to go through mm. so that we can really say that? Yeah. Is it a foregone conclusion that you can really say, surely goodness and mercy mm. shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we're not saying it. Is it really a foregone conclusion for you? For me? Well, I would argue that God has a way uh, of, of doing things that blows my mind. Amen. Just because we say it doesn't need, does not necessarily mean that we will be a beneficiary of that surely goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life. Amen. God has a way of answering prayers in a different way. He approaches it in different ways. He always sends someone else to, to help us understand how good he is. Yeah. I, 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 he approaches matters different because he does something different that just blows my mind. When you walk through the Bible, John, you'll find out when God wanted to do something to get Israel out of trouble, he sent Abraham. Hmm. And when he wanted to get Israel ready to leave, he called Moses. Yeah. 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 When he got ready to march on Israel, he sent Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. 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 Yes. Now, I got to look through the whole Bible on this to make sure I had it right. Mm -hmm. Now, when he wanted to fight Israel, yeah, for Israel, he sent Samson. Mm -hmm. And when he wanted wisdom for Israel, he sent Solomon. Yeah. 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 When he wanted singers for Israel, he sent David. Yeah. Good. When he wanted patience, well, he said, Joe. Uh -huh. yeah, right. yeah. When he wanted vision for Israel, he said, Isaiah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. When he on, wanted yeah. a weeper mm. for Israel, he said, Jeremiah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And when he wanted a prayer, he said, John. Yeah. Yeah. But when he gets ready to bless us and do and answer our prayers, yeah. he don't send anybody. He just shows up himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's what I yeah. like about the Lord. Right. Yeah. Let, 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 let's, let me get back to the text. It says, uh, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. How does that help me? Mm -hmm. We talk about the utopic thing, the euphoric thing, but, but how do we go through this valley experience? Yeah. Here's what the Psalms are saying. The Lord can be your shepherd. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be grazing in green pastures. Mm -hmm. All right. You can be positioned by still waters. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You can be so good that your soul has already been refreshed. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can actually be in the path of righteousness mm -hmm. and right. still have to encounter a valley. Yeah. Can I make you aware and uh, uh, and announce that there is a valley gene that has your name on it? Mm -hmm. yeah. All of us yeah. have a valley 
experience that's on your that has your name on it. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. yeah you, and whenever you go through a valley, yeah, from a humanistic perspective, mm -hmm. because all of us have it, Amen. you can answer several ways. Mm -hmm. When you have a bad valley experience. You can curse it. All right. All right. That would be profane. Uh, Have you ever seen people that go through stuff and they start cussing everybody out? Yeah. Even their own mama. Uh, <laughs> everybody. You, that, that's how the world operates. You can curse it. But, but, but there's another way, you know, what we can see about or going through a valley experience, Nancy. You can curse it or you can nurse it. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. And, and All right. that's a pacifier. Yeah. Uh -huh. You want everybody to know how messed up you are. Yeah. Have you ever seen people never have a good day? They just going through. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they just want to nurse that thing and they want you to you come to church feeling good, wait, waiting for service. Yeah. And somebody got this pacifying thing and they talking to you. And then the anointing that you had starts drying up. Because yeah. mm, they're telling you how many pills they take, yeah. how many yeah. shots they take, yeah. how bad their knees are. They got the brown stockings on. <laughs> With that knot on the side. I'm just saying. <laughs> and you feel like you need a Xanax or something. <laughs> because they want everybody to feel their pain. Yeah. You can yeah. curse it. That's profane. You can nurse it. That's a pacifier. Then you can rehearse it. All right, all right now. There are folk that go over and over in their mind, and that's paranoia. Mm -hmm. They just paranoid. They just want. They just mad and sad all the time. I'm just going through my pain. Well, I looked at that. Or you can act like it doesn't exist. All of us have rumors of about experience. And some of us we can curse it, we can nurse it, we can rehearse it. But there's some folk that just act like it's not even there. Mm, right. They act like it doesn't even exist. Or you can say, I, I, I'm not going to claim it. Right, right. Yeah, right. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? really? Come on now. Really? No, I, I'm just not going to claim it. All and you right. walking around. And, and, and you got a big cancer hanging off the side of your cheek. <laughs> and people say, well, honey, what's, you know, what's wrong? I, 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 yeah, I've been going through, but I ain't going to claim it. All of us have our valleys. Yeah. Yeah. We can act like it doesn't exist. Yeah. Or we can act like we're not going to claim it. But it's there. You might as well accept it. Mm -hmm. Is that whatever that issue is, you know, you just have to accept that we all have valley experience. I don't care how old you are. Yeah. I don't care if you had that great big, big cross around your neck, larger than the one that Jesus took to Calvary. <laughs> that makes no difference. Yeah. Because it's, yes, do I walk through the valley? Well, listen, well, how do we deal with it? Okay. But there's, there's a word that I want to tell. First of all, you have to accept the reality of the valley. Mm -hmm. You have to accept the reality of the valley. Amen. Because the valley are ordered, watch this, by the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the, the Bible says, it's, the psalmist writes it out. Matter of fact, in Psalm uh, th uh, 37 23, it says, The steps of a good man mm -hmm. are ordered, yeah. ordered yeah. by the Lord. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. He said, because if you mess up, he will catch you with his hand. Yeah. Or he will hold yeah. you with yeah. the right. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. These steps are ordered, but it doesn't talk about the stops. Mm. We got some steps, but there's some stops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some places that we stop. Listen, Rufus. Because Rufus yeah. told me about all the stops. Mm, <laughs> he, told, he told me about Larry's, you know. How many? 17 stops? Okay. So he got a lot of them. I won't, I won't claim them. I'm not going to say it was club by ice. I'm not going to say that. You know what I'm Write them down, Rufus. <laughs> Gene know all of them. 
You up there singing? He had some stops. And he slid in some of them. I'm just saying. Praise his holy name. I'm just saying what I'm saying. The Lord selects the valleys. The Lord measures our valleys. But this is what I like about it because he's also in control of your valley. Yeah. Whatever we go and do, God, he said, yea, Lord, walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. <laughs> For thou art with me. Even though we make some stops, the Lord is with us. He never forsakes us. There are some things you will never learn in life until you Go through your own valley. Yeah. Right, right. So what are you talking about? Your valley will show you who your friends are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a valley experience and, and you're looking for somebody uh -huh. here on planet Earth mm -hmm. that can help you go through that situation? Uh -huh. right. We have so many friends that are around us talking to us but, uh, but when your friends are scattered when you're going through your problems, your buddy, your boo, all of that happens, you won't be able to find them when you're going or experiencing your own valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere along the line, they know that you're going through something, but they're only as friends with you as long as the money don't run out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're your friends as long as the E and J, E and Jerk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nancy, I almost shouted back there when I said E and J. <laughs> long as you got stuff, your friends, when you're going through your valley, you can't find them, Eric. Mm. They haven't seen you in a valley before, and so they don't know how to respond while you're going through your yeah. stuff. Yeah. Now, how do you say that? Because some people just don't know what to say. Right. They don't know what to say while you're going through your valley. They don't mean to be that way, mm -hmm. but until they experience their valley, yeah. Yeah. then they yeah. want you to show up. Yeah. Preach right. black boy. Right. You'll find out who your real friends are when you're going on through your valley. As a matter of fact, you can count your real friends on one hand mm -hmm. and still have two fingers left. <laughs> yeah, your valley will show you who your friends are. John, I found something else out because your valley will help you know who you are. Yeah. Amen. Because we don't know ourselves until we get into a bad situation. It's not always good to say what you ain't going to do when you're going through your valley. Amen. And you're talking about, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to eat that. Okay, let your food run out. Yeah. You'll eat some beanie weenies then. Mm -hmm. You'll eat some commodities. you drink that powdered milk and mix it with some water and thank, and thank God you had it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Reverend, don't ever say what you won't never do. Mm -hmm. I was in Vietnam. I was like, I ain't going to eat sea ration. But I got hungry enough, I said, send me five more. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at that can, that had 1928 on it. Yeah. You know, don't ever say what you'll never do. Yeah. I said, I, when I first come out of the service, I had to work at uh, Atlas Laundry. I said, I ain't going to work at no laundry. But my family had to eat. Right. And I walked all the way from Mont Road on Spring Street Waited there for what they call day work, right. spot labor. Wow. See, you see my glory, but you don't know my story. Yeah. Wow. I used to pull out nasty sheets uh -huh. from from Grand Hospital. You know what happens on nasty sheets? Mm -hmm. Surgery and people be incontinent. That's what Pastor Washington did so that I could feed my family. Yeah. Don't ever yeah. say what you would never do. Yeah. I got up early. Spot labor, yeah. hoping they'll call my name. Yeah. Mm. Yes, you did. Wow. Yes, you did. That's wow. the truth. So, you know, yeah. my Bishop, story. Tell it. Tell it. You don't tell remember it. me when I had old Raggedy Omega mm -hmm. that I had to put a uh, clothes hanger to keep the muffler up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I had. Yeah. And drove all the way to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania <laughs> on Everlasting. I 
It was said E, so. Everlasting. <laughs> Everlasting. I made it to Pittsburgh on E. Won't God do it? Yeah. As soon as I pulled up the, my assignment, it said, God worked it out. Yeah. 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 Don't ever say what you never do. And when I got to Monroe Field, I said, Lord, if that little light turned red, I said, I thought you said that for last <laughs> God has a way of sending some fumes yeah. in that car. Yeah. God, well, when you go through your valley experience, you got some memories. Yeah. And it helps you to help other folk when you go through those kinds of situations. Yes, yes, Maybe you haven't been in a valley experience yet. If you've been in a valley, yeah, you do some stuff you said you would never do. Yeah, well. mm, I'll start to call the road, but I'm not going to do it. There's some, right, some of us who, who, who said, well, I, I, I'm not going to sell pop bottles. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to pick up tin cans. Mm. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Yes, sir. I catch it. <laughs> they had a little machine called the goat. Yeah, that's right, that's right. On Mock Road. Mock Road. Right. And I take up every can I can find, put it in that goat, and got changed. That's right. that was my son. Yeah. And I'm gonna say this. If things get bad for me, yeah. and I get up, I'm gonna get another microphone and I'm gonna say, uh, uh do you want a biggie size man? <laughs> <laughs> Won't you pass the worship? Yeah, but you know, you want to try? <laughs> I gotta feed my family. Yeah. 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 Hey, put that little hat on and say, I don't care what that is. I gotta feed my family. Yeah. That's a real alert. <laughs> all the pickles, all the lettuce, special orders won't upset us. Oh, yeah. I mean, all the friends, have it your way. Praise the Lord. Now move on, Deacon. Say it out, Say it out. will help you find out who you are, but valleys, trying will help you find out who God is. Yeah, 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 yeah. God be begins to be so profound in your life, keeping you when you really could not keep yourself. But he made ways yes, for us to get through. Now it will help you find out who God is because sometimes act like we don't really know him until we go through some stuff. Mm -hmm. You probably won't know who he is until you go through some stuff. Mm -hmm. That's a text right there. Well, I remember if you take three pots and take those three pots, put some hot water in it, you put an egg in it, the egg will get hard. You take another pot and you put hot water and put some vegetables in it, the vegetables get soft. Mm -hmm. But if you take a, a, that, a third pot and put, uh, put some folders in it, it will saturate the room and give off its aroma. Mm -hmm. Some people, you put them in hot water, they become hateful and hard. Mm. Okay. Right. Some folks, they go through some hot water experience and they become soft and yeah. cynical and hard to get along with. Mm. They crawl up into a corner and they go into depression. Yeah. But some folks, you put them in hot water, they they bring aroma to the room. Like when I get up and I'm like, thank you, Lord. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah. 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 Let us be glad in it. That's what happens when you know God is operative in your life. Even when you go through some hot experiences, you got to praise the Lord in it. Because when praises go up, blessings come down. Is there anybody have gone through some hot situations in your life and you begin to give God a real praise when no music is around, when no hope is around, yourself crying and no, about nothing is hurting you and you find yourself running and nobody's chasing you and you just start thinking about how good God is. And you will have a hallelujah anyhow home. Then you sit down and start praising God. 
That's what I like about the Lord. Even we shout too early, we shout too late. Well, what else you see? Whenever I get up in the morning, and I'm up early, I be hovering around the house. They sleep. I'm just saying. The only one that's up is men. Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. I said, Miss Kitty, you all right? I said, what you going to say? I woke up this morning. I said, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. said this valley while I'm in it. What's going on while I'm in it? What is going, what do I do while I'm there? Next thing, what do I do? Do Since I'm in the valley, since I'm there, what should I do? All of us have these valley experiences, and we got to ask the Bible, ask the Lord, well, what should I do while I'm in there? Because we're trying to get to the end of this, this verse, Surely sure, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. But why, why do I have to go through this while I'm in this valley experience? First of all, I'm going to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Is that in your Bible? Yeah. Say something that I'm mm -hmm. going to walk. Some people prefer running. No, don't run. It says, I shall walk through it. Listen, let me run through it and get over it. No. You might miss some stuff. The Lord said, no, no, no. Because when you run, you'll make too many mistakes. Right. Right. Haven't you ever ran through some stuff that you thought God wanted you to have and he makes you, you, you sign it too soon and you find yourself in trouble? Yeah. Or you sign up for something because you ran to it because, you know, back then, you know, they had all kinds of Amway. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen one black person that's rich in Amway. Uh, come on, talk back to me. You want me to talk? And we're going to talk all. Tupperware. We will run to that to Avon. Avon calling. Yeah. I haven't seen a black woman with that pink car yet. Oh, oh that's Mary Kay? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfume. All the, when we run through those things, DJ, too quick, you'll find out while you're climbing your ladder of success, running to some stuff, 
you will find out that your ladder is leaning it up against the wrong building. When you run, you will fall flat. Here's about here it is about walking because when you walk, you see more. All right. Yeah. God wants you to see some things. I, I'm moving forward when I'm walking, um, but I'm slow. But but I'm moving I'm slowly. But but I'm going somewhere, moving slow. Yeah. But I'm I'm leaving. Watch this. Some folk behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, everybody that started out with you on this journey, DJ, mm -hmm. they wasn't designed to be your friend. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. people yeah. sap you of all of your anointing yeah. Yeah. while you're yeah. trying to help them. Yeah. They're yeah. hating you at the same time. Yeah. 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 There's a whole lot of fake folk out there yeah. Yeah. that hang around you as long as they can sap all your yeah. blessings out of you yeah. and they excel and you still right there and you help them to get where they're supposed to be yeah. and they want to acknowledge it was you that helped Wow. You better start walking and watching. Yeah. Because there's some wretched folk out there walking. Uh oh. Boy, y'all got real quiet. You see, everybody start out with you, won't be with you at the end when you start. You try to take them somewhere with you, and they pull you down with you. Never, ever let somebody, Eric, park in your mind. Mm -hmm. Don't give them a parking lot right. in your mind, right. in your spirit. Because the devil comes by what? To steal, kill, and to destroy. He wants to kill your dream. He wants to steal your discipline. And he wants to destroy your destiny. Y'all better not do it right. Yeah. That's what the Satan does. That's what he wants to do. While we going through our valleys, and oh, we want to, Pastor, please get to the last part. Surely, surely, yeah, bro, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. But you gotta go through something in life. Yeah, Must yeah. Jesus bear the cross alone? Yeah. And all the world go free? No, there's a I'm too lazy. Right. Yeah. For everyone, but there's a cross for me. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna walk, but slowly. But I'm not going to fear. Mm -hmm. While I'm going through, he says, you know, what's wrong with you? We don't, we don't fear. Fear. Fear makes you tear your resume up. Mm -hmm. Because you've been turned down so many times. Fear gives you an ulcer in your stomach. Fear will wake you up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Fear will give you an ulcer. Fear where te put tears in your eyes, fear and faith can't rest in the same part. Amen. You have to have faith or fear. Yeah. I rather have faith. Yeah. Faith yeah. is the substance of things oh. hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. God already knows what's best for you. Yeah. But we take those detours yeah. and we carry folk around on us that mean us no good. I learned a hard lesson when I was a young preacher. I thought everybody liked me. And 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 preacher don't preacher them until I began to kind of go up a little bit. They made me a secretary of the pastor's conference. Then I became a moderator, then a state president, and a national vice president. And all my friends kind of backed up. He don't have pedigree. What do you think he is? Mm. At 46 years old, being a president of the state convention, mm. at 46 years, being a vice president in the National Baptist Convention USA Inc., mm. and the chairman of church planting, mm. I organized with my team 38 churches. All right. Five in, in five in uh, Africa. Two in Germany and three in Italy. All right, wow. This tall, black, ashy boy. Right. All right. Thought I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Mm. Grew up on the wrong side of the traps. Yeah. A stutterer and excelled to that. I give God the glory, but I don't brag about that. Yeah. Right. 
I'm just giving you my resume. You gotta leave some folk behind. When we was building on we were preacher came up to me. I ain't gonna tell you what city. I ain't even gonna call his name. I almost did. He said, I don't see how you did this because you're not that great a preacher. I said, what? And he talked about his degree, he talked about he got a PhD in this and a bachelor in that. And I told him very frankly and succinctly, and I said, well, you know what? I may not be the greatest preacher in the world, and I'm not, I'm not worried about that. And he talked about all your degrees on your wall. Well, listen, I'd rather have sheep standing around the wall than sheep skins on the wall. Wow. <laughs> So I, 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 I'm not in fear. Fear can mess you up. Fear can mess up your mind. Fear and faith can't resident in the same heart. I must tell you this, and you may not want to hear it, but when you read your Bible and you study your Bible, Michelle, I found out something in my study that you will find in the Bible 365 uh, words uh, three, six, uh, 365 times in the Bible, you'll find this statement. And that statement is, don't fear. Mm -hmm. yeah. 365 times yeah. in the Bible, you will find out that the word fear right. mm -hmm. is 365 times in the Bible. Wow. So that means since there are 365 days in the year, uh -huh. yes. that means every right. day I don't have to fear nothing. So when I don't fear, 300, I get up in the morning, I ain't scared of nothing today. What? <laughs> Pull your best shot and see what happens. Because uh -huh. I'm going to tell Jesus on <laughs> That's what we do. He says, you walk. He said, but don't fear. I'm going to walk. I'm not going to fear. But let's look at the last thing. I'm going, I'm going through. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I didn't make it up because it's right here in the text. Some people wait. They want to pray because they are going through something or another. Right. But I'll say it this way. It's, it's good when they tell me, oh, you know, Reverend, I think a lot of time they said, has to pray for me because I'm just going through. I said, that's good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just going through. I said, and it sounds crazy when I said, well, that's a good thing because uh, you, they look at me all strange. I said, well, that literally means I'm not going to stay where I am. Right, 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 right. Y'all right. 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 didn't get that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to stay where I am right now. It says, yea, though I walk through. That, now that's a preposition, yeah. mm -hmm. and you know a preposition makes words and, and 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 phrases together. It says, "I'm going to walk through it." It means preposition, okay. mm -hmm. P R E hyphen position, uh -huh. which means where I am now is not where I'm going to end up. Hey, so right so I have to preposition myself. Y'all yeah, right yeah. yeah. miss that? Right that means I'm going to have to amplify. Right even there's a play on words, but listen, you have to pre-position yourself and leave some stuff behind. Yeah, right. Leave some booze behind. Uh -huh. Leave some beer behind. Uh -huh. Leave some smokes behind. Yeah. Leave some women behind. Yeah. Leave some guys behind. Yeah. Leave some jobs behind. Yeah. God has some doors that he's trying to open up for you. Yeah. You got to leave some stuff behind. Yeah. 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 You see, some folk try to tell you that there, there's a period in your life that you no, no, no. It's not a period; it's a comma, and a comma means I'm pausing and I'm not parking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pause. For me. Yeah, I might be be pausing for a moment, but but I, I'm not parking because I they that way. Yeah, yeah. All the Lord. Oh, 
shall renew their strength. Now, now I can say this this way. While I'm going through my valley, now unto him mm -hmm. who is able yeah. to keep you from falling yes, sir. Yeah. and present you faultless mm -hmm. before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I have to accept my valley. I have to respond in my valley. Mm -hmm. Then I have to acknowledge my resources mm -hmm. in the valley. Yeah. It says, thou art with me. Uh -huh. right, right. The word thou, and when you see it, there is a transition mm -hmm. in that text. Yeah, yeah. For thou art with me. Uh -huh. Do I have a witness? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we go yeah. through the valley, yeah. we have some resources in the valley. Yeah. I wish I could have enough time to tell you about how many resources yeah. we had yeah. in the yeah. valley. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a witness is that thou, yeah. and when you see that transitional thought, because the Bible explains itself, it says, well, let's go up to verse 5. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of of my enemy. Yeah, yeah. That's resources. Yeah, right, yeah. How will you? the Lord will provide resources? Yeah, yeah. He restoreth my soul. My cup running over. Yeah. I don't know about you. But that's resources. Yeah. Can't you imagine all of your haters that tried to keep the back to share? Yeah. Watch you sit at the table, the Lord's table that's prepared for you. Yeah. Your enemies gotta watch you yeah. with your cup running over. And I got a witness in here. Yeah. Now you never seen fool. Thought you would never be nothing. Thought you would never come up to be anything. You was born on the wrong side of the track. And they looked at you and your pedigree. You don't have power. 
shall follow you all the days of your life. But you got to accept your battery. You got to have resources in your valley. But what I like about the Lord, He will bring you home and say, Well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Keep the faithful of you.